Dwell Magazine is now available on your iPad and I think you're gonna love this application because it really looks and feels exactly like an Apple product. I mean this is the wall looks just like your bookstore, your bookshelf and so when you buy this application you get the first issue free. As you can see I've got the May 2010 issue available here and then all the other issues are available in uh, small price points or I could even do a 12 month subscription for $19.99 in the case of this magazine. What's cool about this is that it uses push notifications to let you know that there's a new magazine ready for you to download and you can go and download that. So this app has a very small price to it so you're thinking okay um, the app is, is inexpensive and so what do I do once I have a magazine on here. Well, you're going to want to download it and there will be a button there that will say download and then once you've downloaded it you can tap on it and load it up and it's going to give you these little suggestions which you could turn off of how to use this. We've got turn the pages just swiping. We've got one tap to get our menu bar. We can scroll through the thumbnails that show up at the bottom, double tap to zoom in and then we can pinch out to zoom out of course as well. So let's get rid of that. And it remembered where I was when I was reading the magazine before. When I'm looking at the magazine in this viewpoint right here, I'm viewing one page at a time, which works out really well because with my current state of vision, I can read the text just fine. Even though it is a little small, I could still read the text. So very simple just to be switching through pages. I can just drag across. Um, I, I get one tap and I get my thumbnail view down here. I also get my menu back. I can just tap to make that go away just like that. Now if I rotate you can see it goes into a full two page magazine spread just like I would be used to reading uh, if I was holding the magazine in front of me. Now of course that makes the text a little bit smaller so if I really want to see something it makes it a little bit harder so I would want to double tap and then I can zoom in and really start to read everything and see those pictures and I can even pinch and zoom in a little bit further even though it, it does start to pixelate a little bit if you go too far but that's not really that bad um, it, it, it typically looks pretty good so I can tap twice it zooms me in tap twice again to get back tap once and I've got my page view down here. I can just kind of zoom across and it takes me to that page. Now at the same time, let's tap and get our menu back here. I have bookmarks that I can create. I can add a bookmark. This is how I, I like to kind of fold over the tabs on magazines when I want to remember where I'm at. This essentially is the same thing as doing that. So if I wanted to remember this page, I can hit add bookmark you can see that I've got two bookmarks here for this these specific issue of May and page 85 and page 39. So if I tapped on page 39 here, view, it would take me back to page 39. I wanted to remember this page because I wanted to check out that website that had all of that kind of modern lighting and stuff there. So it's cool to be able to do that because you can set those bookmarks and go back at any time. I can also tap here and go and scroll through the table of contents that you're typically used to seeing in the front of the magazine. So you know you have those different sections um, you know like small steps let's view that article and it goes straight to that article so that way I don't have to you know go all the way back to the beginning of the magazine look and then scroll through and try and find that page I have that accessible right up here in the top. I can also search if I want to type in a search everything that's in the magazine is searchable and so I could type in something and find it uh, if I was looking for something specific maybe because I forgot to bookmark it or uh, well for whatever reason or knew it was in the magazine just didn't know what page it was on. So one of the other cool things is the share feature of this magazine. In real life when you share a magazine with a friend what do you do? You take the magazine, you give it to a friend. And when that friend has the magazine, of course you can't read it because your friend has the magazine. And that's how it works here with this magazine Dwell uh, through this Pixel Mag software. If a friend of yours was to download the software for Dwell, the, the Dwell app, 
they can also access this magazine. You can share it with each other. So that way, if, if you have a subscription and you wanted to share it with them, the only thing that they would have to do is download the application, and then, of course, you could send that over to them. Keep in mind that while you are sharing it with them, it becomes inaccessible to you. It is just like real life sharing of a magazine. So you want to make sure that you don't, uh, you know, your friend doesn't forget to give it back or something like that because um, you need your magazine so that you can view them. So obviously there's quite a bit of price savings in going with a 12-month subscription. Dwell Magazine, super popular magazine right now. Uh, I think you're going to love it if you haven't checked it out already. If you're into, you know, uh, modern living, that uh, those different styles of homes, I think you're going to love this magazine. Uh, I definitely really like it. So now that we're back here in the library, let's go ahead and look at settings really quick. You're going to want to set up your account information. It shows your active downloads. It shows your bookmarks, and this is bookmarks for all magazines, so you can see the bookmarks that you have for multiple magazines. And then, of course, we can also search for inside any of the magazines that we have downloaded as well, and that way we have access to all of them really easily. Because once you have all these magazines on your shelf, it may be a little difficult for you to remember where you found something. So from Pixel Mags, Dwell Magazine, available on the iPad, What's awesome is that this is a universal binary, so it will work on both your iPhone, iPod Touch, and your iPad for the same low, low price. So definitely go check it out in the App Store today.